video we're going to be creating a motion tween in Adobe Animate CC. You can see here a motion tween is a feature available typically on Flash. This is now what Animate is. And instead of defining the location of every frame, you can create a motion tween which will basically automatically do the in-between frames. That's where the word tween comes from. The in-between frames uh, in an animation. So <clears throat> what I want you to do to begin is go online, find some images that you want to create a um, animation out of. So I went online already. I made this new folder on my desktop, and you can see here. Just open these up. I have a few different images. I decided to do a little motion tween involving uh, space, planets, that kind of thing. So I got a rocket ship. I actually got this picture of LeBron. Figuring I might throw that in just to be silly and kind of show you how it works. And also here, just some planets and a background. A uh, little clip art that I found of some space or galaxy kind of thing. This is my idea. You can put together whatever you'd like for yours. So to begin, we're going to open up Adobe Animate. We're going to go to File and New. When we go to File and New, we want to do an action script. Uh, the size of it right now, we can keep at the 1280 by 720. That's fine. And 24 frames per second, we're going to click OK. Now, once we have this, I'm just going to go and fit it in the window so you can see it a little easier there. And now inside the timeline here, this first layer that shows up, I'm going to double click it and I'm going to call it planet. In fact, I'm going to call it planet one because I'm going to input or uh, place or import my first image into that layer. So from here, we're going to go to file, import, import to stage. Once this comes up, we're going to go into that first folder there that I just created. Uh, my tween stuff. So here's the first planet. It happens to be a PNG file. If you don't see it come up, you have to select the kind of file here from the enable. I picked PNG because it's a PNG file. I'm going to hit open and you're going to see it shows up on my screen. Now with the black arrow here, the selection tool or the letter V on your keyboard, you can click and you can move it. But in terms of making it bigger or smaller, this is the tool you're going to want. Two below that, it says the free transform tool or you can hit Q on your keyboard. Now just to start, I'm going to make it small. I'm going to hold shift, pull from the corner, make it a little bit small. So uh, from here, you can see at the timeline, we have one frame, and that's what has the imported uh, Earth or planet on it, right? So from there, we are now going to go stretch this out all the way to about 250. And when we get to 250 here, I'm going to right-click and insert frame. And you can see there right on, I, I actually did it on 251. I inserted in the frame, which now means that on every single frame between 0 and 250, you're going to see the same planet. Then somewhere in between this, or maybe in the middle somewhere, so you figure 250, half of that, 125, 126 or so right here. I'm going to right click and create motion tween. Now by doing that, if I click away for a moment, you've noticed that the entire line becomes blue. So now it is in fact a motion tween image. The only problem is where it was in frame one is also still where it is on frame 251. So what you do is you go to any portion, any frame. So I could go, for example, over to 50. Click on 50 and now move with that same free transform tool and I move the planet. You'll see a little line comes up. I could also rotate. I could also make it bigger. Just like that. So now if I moved from 1 to 50, you see it automatically is creating that motion tween between the two different movements. Where it was in the beginning, where it is at frame 50 or 51 or so. Then from there you can continue on. So I could go to 150. And now I can start to move this down, let's say over here and the whole time keep spinning it a couple of times like that. So now as you play it back from the beginning, this is what you have. Got that? All right, I'm gonna hit pause. So these lines here, as you go near them, if you zoom into them, do Command plus to zoom in a little bit. When you go on them, um, sorry, I can move all over a little bit. With the black arrow, if you go really close to them, you can see a little curve pops up. I have the black arrow, 
and you go on and you get a curve. So now I can curve this, and I can curve this one also in a different direction. So now as I play it back, I'm going to go back to the first frame. I'm going to hit play. Fit it on my screen. There we go. Hit play. Now it goes more in that curved kind of a, a feel. So you can manipulate those points using the black arrow, or you can even use the white arrow after you hit uh, stop. Oh, sorry. White arrow, you can double click on these points. You can move the individual points. You can move the handlebars to get them exactly the way you want. And now the, this path that's now being created will be followed by the planet. Okay. Then to continue from here, you're going to continue to add new layers, name them, like this one can be Planet 2, or whatever your design is going to be. Stay on that first frame, so go all the way to frame 1, click on it, file, import, import to stage. From there, grab the next planet or whatever you're trying to grab. Hit open. When it comes up, grab the free transform tool. Make it bigger, make it smaller, however you want it to be. I'm going to make it smaller like this. I'm going to put it off to the edge. I'm going to you'll notice if it, these frames, because we already had one that existed, is already out to 250. So that means all I have to do is go somewhere in the middle ish, right? Right click and create a uh, motion tween. So now, same as before, if I click away, it's all blue. It's ready to be motion tween. So now I go to any frame. So I can go to the same frame, uh, 150, let's say. And now I'm going to move this all the way across. And then by the time I get to 250, remember I'm on the top layer now. I'm going to move it this way. And I'm going to increase its size and rotate it like that. So if I start from the beginning and I hit play, this is what you're looking at. So the two things are now simultaneously moving on the screen because they're on two separate layers and we've done uh, motion tweens for each one. All right, then from there, what are we going to do? We're going to add another new layer. Bring it underneath, click and drag and drop it underneath. Double click, call it background. I'm going to call it space or whatever you'd like to name it. Go to that first frame, same steps again. File, import, import to stage. Once you've gone there, I'm going to take the uh, image of the space I have, hit open, puts it in there. Now, I'm going to actually make it much, much bigger. Move it around a little bit. There we go. And the reason I'm going to do this is because you can see where the white uh, box is, right? Your action script board, basically. And I want to kind of move this here, let's just say. And then... Same thing, and this already goes all the way to 250, but in the middle somewhere, I'm going to right-click and do a motion tween. So at about, uh, I'm going to go all the way to the edge, actually, to here. I'm going to in increase the size and move it. So as I play this back now, you're going to see this. I'm going to click away from it, actually, so nothing is selected. So you can see all three elements are moving at the same time. If you want to ever check, the best thing to do is go to Control and Test. And when you go to Test, it'll export it, and it'll play in this little video uh, screen for you, this little pop-up. And you can kind of see what is happening with all of these different pieces. Pretty cool. Last but not least, I'm going to add that last piece, which was LeBron there. I'm going to add a new layer. I'll put it to the top for now. I'll double-click. I'll call it LeBron so we know what's what. And then we're going to do the same thing, File, Import, Import to stage. I'm going to find the one of LeBron. There it is. Put him in here. When he comes in, we take that transform tool and I'll resize it. Maybe put him here to start. First, be sure you right click and create a motion tween. And then go to the beginning. That's where it's going to be in the beginning. But by the time we hit here, it'll move to there. And by the time it gets here, maybe it'll get larger. And then by the time, you know, you can keep changing. You can go to each frame, wherever you'd like, resize, rotate, move, whatever you'd like, right, like that. And then I'm going to put one at the end here. And what's going to happen here is he's going to get bigger until the ball is about the size of the planet.
And now if I were to play it back, you're going to get this going on, right? Nice. Now, if you want to change any of the um, transparency of like LeBron, for example, I can go on that last frame there of his 250 or so. I'm going to go to where it says, uh, let's see here. Click with the black arrow, click on it. You'll see a blend here where you can change the blending modes, right? So you can do um, overlay, for example, like that. And now as I play it back from the beginning, you can kind of see through them a little bit. But if I go back to layer uh, frame 251, black arrow, instead of overlay, go back to normal, he's back to the way he was, right? Um, I can also do alpha, and then I can change this and make him like that. It's so only on that one. So as I play him back, when he starts, he's going to be solid. And when he gets to the end and the ball begins to match up, he's starting to be faded. Right? Now we can kind of experiment with that a little bit, but I want these to be at least 250 frames, if not more. And you see how easy it is to do them. You're not doing them frame by frame. You're allowing the motion tween to do the work for you. But come up with a creative idea. You should have a minimum of four layers going on with a maximum of, let's say, 15. Not to make it too crazy right now, okay? Since this is your first motion tween project. Any questions, please see me in class.